if we don't turn this around, this generation will be the first in the history of our country to not live as long as their moms and dads. Ready up! Class attention! We were given a gift 50 years ago that made our lives better. This is a challenge for us all. I mean, I practiced this program from middle school all the way through high school. That this will spread to every school district in the United States. That all of us will participate, and in so doing, will be better citizens and happier ones. I was hired in 82 by the 76ers as the very first ever in the history of professional basketball full-time strength and conditioning coach. Dr. J and Moses Malone. And in my first year, we won the world championship with them. Point to any part of your body, and we'll start quoting literature, medical studies, into the tens of thousands of articles about the benefits of exercise. Exercise grows the hippocampal parts of your brain that's important for your memory. I could see a difference from when I didn't do exercise before teaching reading and when I did do exercise before teaching. The more fit the kids are, the better they're doing in school. So I grew up on the south side of Chicago. I was raised by a single mother. I grew up in inner city, single parent household. My mom didn't have time to get us involved with sports. My activity level once it dwindled, I filled that with video games and TV and my grades went from A, B to down to DF. It's about how do you make the best learner. Once we see that, you need some forward-thinking schools that are willing to basically restore what we once had, which was mandatory physical fitness. 83% drop in discipline problems from one semester to another, just with that introduction. I didn't find that there was much racism when you're playing sports. We saw that racism and gang affiliations stopped at the locker room door. Doing something together is, is huge, and exercise is something that has the ability to, to unite. That was the beauty of the program. It was designed to benefit all of the students, not just a few. I have dealt with bullying in the past, like in elementary, but not here at Prescott. We're in it together. Our motto is all for one, one for all. The training I had was at the root of all of my success. Every day you were met with these challenges. challenges loved being challenged every day. Uh, climbing the rope was, God, was super. And we always wore shirts, unlike the guys, so. <laughs> it helps you grow stronger mentally and physically. It helps children how they can be successful in life. Like it pushes you to your limits that you didn't know you had, and so it makes you really determined to finish what you want to finish. What we found with our physicians is 80% of them had undiagnosed medical problems. And we've seen almost all of that disappear with this activity. People don't realize what PE was. They don't understand that physical education could do all those things. It's got to turn around. It all comes down to the individual. Can you make an individual love being healthy? That's, I think, the, the secret to all of it.